AI can only suggest me what to do. I have to do things myself. If you also think like this, then you have not used AI how it is supposed to be used. Agent Force is a powerhouse and it does not only automate tasks, but completes those tasks as well. Tasks like generating fields for you. Let's see how. Hello everyone, I'm Shrey Sharma, your sales force hub. In today's video, we're diving into another use case of Prompt Builder, which is field generation. Now, if you have already explored Prompt Builder a bit, you know it's great at summarizing records. If you have not, then check out our last video from the i tab here. Prompt Builder can help auto-populate fields using AI. Yes, that's where field generation templates come in. You must be wondering, what is field generation in Prompt Builder? Well, field generation is exactly what it sounds like. Using an AI prompt to generate values for specific fields on a record. For example, if you want to generate a product description based on a few attributes, you can use this template in the Prompt Builder and easily generate descriptions and save time. Prompt Builder now supports this functionality by letting you build prompts that output directly into a field. Not just as suggestions, but as actual values you can save. And the best part, you still don't need to be a developer. Just define your input fields, craft your prompt, choose your output field and you're good to go. It's specially useful in service, sales, and even custom use cases across any object. All right, enough theory. Let me show you how field generation actually works inside Prompt Builder. I will follow the previous use case that we used in record summary. This time, you need to generate personalized service suggestions for your customers based on their service history and vehicle information. So now to create a field generation prompt template, we'll go to setup again and we'll write down prompt builder. We'll open the prompt builder. We'll choose the prompt builder type as field generation. And then we'll write down the name of the prompt that we want to build. That is my first field generation template. And we'll choose the object vehicle. And after choosing the object, it is going to ask us for the field. And we are going to choose quick summary. That is the custom field that we've created onto vehicle object. And then we'll hit next. Now in the prompt template workspace, we are going to write down, generate a personalized service suggestion based on a car model where the input is going to be vehicle and its model. And then the brand as a field and then the fuel type as the field. So these are all the information that we want as a response whenever we provide a prompt to the AI. So now to test the same, uh, we are just going to use a related record, uh, Hyundai Verna and we're just going to save the prompt template and see how the preview is going to look like. So here's the preview. For the Hyundai Verna SX with petrol, fuel type, there are no previous service records. It is engine, transmission, brakes, tires, this urgency. A lot of things are over here. So now we have just activated this particular prompt template and we have now we'll go to the record under vehicle. We'll go to Audi Q3 and uh, we'll go to the detail page of the same. And uh, the first thing that we would need to do is add the AI agent on the field by editing the page layout of the same so that we can click right over there and utilize the prompt. So to do the same, uh, we'll first have to up, like, I mean, upgrade it to the dynamic forms and everything, uh, so the vehicle layout. So now we'll uh, click onto the quick summary field and we'll select the prompt template. Over here, it, uh, there's a field which uh, helps you select the prompt template for the particular field. And uh, we have selected my first field generation template as a prompt over here. And we have just saved the page layout that we have recently created for the same. Now we'll go back to the record of uh, Audi Q3 and we'll go to the detail page once again and we'll go and edit the quick summary detail field and over here you see the AI, I mean, toggle coming in or button coming in. Uh, we'll just click on to the same and here's how you get the response using Einstein for the same and you can hit the use button and that same button is going to uh, like copy and paste the output that the AI generated into the field and that can be saved into the record if you want and if you want to edit it manually uh, by yourself, you can do the same as well. And if you do not want to, just hit save and the record will be saved right over there and then. So this is how you uh, create a field generation prompt. If you want to learn Agent Force and get hands-on, check out the upcoming Agent Force training by S2 Labs. I will leave the link down in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with someone who might need it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.